Today we have number one, explain why using your preferred methods, why I can be thought of as both square root of negative one and as a 90 degree rotation factor. Remember back to algebra one when the teacher put x squared equals nine on the board and the whole class knew that x could equal either three or negative three. And then the smart kid asked, Mr. Whoever, what about x squared equals negative nine? And you felt like your head was going to explode. The square root of a number less than zero? So your teacher went into an explanation about how you will learn one day about imaginary numbers, that there is something called i, and i squared equals negative one. So then you went home with a headache. But as you entered pre-calc class, numbers seemed to make more sense. And I'm not saying I think like Euler, but I say imaginary numbers, they made more sense because they're becoming a little less imaginary due to pre-calc class. So back to my algebra one example. X squared equals nine really means X equals negative nine which means one times x squared equals nine, or one times x times x equals nine. What transformation of x, when applied twice, turns one to nine? The two answers are three and negative three. That means scale by three or scale by negative three and flip to get nine. This is the same for x squared equals negative one or x equals the square root of negative one. Now, think about x squared equals negative one, which is really one times x times x equals negative one. What transformation of x, when applied twice, turns one into negative one? Well, we can't multiply by a positive twice because the result stays positive. And we can't multiply by a negative twice because that result will flip back to positive on the second multiplication. But what about a rotation? Sounds crazy, but if we imagine X being a rotation of 90, then applying twice will be a 180 degree rotation or a flip from one to negative one. As you can see here, we have our imaginary line I, and then are plus 90 degrees and plus 90 degrees. It goes, as you can see, from one to negative one. Makes sense. And if you think about it even more, we could rotate twice in the other direction, which is clockwise, to turn one into negative one. This negative rotation, or multiplying by negative I, so that there are really two square roots of negative one i and negative i. As you can see here, we kind of just flipped our diagram over here, our imaginary line, and we did plus 90 and then negative 90. So we started off at i and ended at negative i or vice versa.